Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. This is actually a pre-recorded uh, episode that I'm doing commentary over because I wanted to do well, just like a there. bunch of quests and um, I didn't really like, I, I don't know, I, I figured it was going to be kind of boring for content's uh, sake, but I was kind of, uh, I don't know, wrong about that. Um, the, the goal here was just to like complete a bunch of quests um, make make as much money as possible uh, along the way I, I started just like buying routes so that I could like cover my bases for when we go to Chernobyl um, and then you know just like do the stalker thing where I kill bandits and mutants and, and whatever and, and try and make some uh, soft you know progression and uh, and we did that and I achieved quite a lot in this episode but um, along with uh, you know that I also started to get pretty comfortable with our new upgraded uh, artifact detector and managed to find some uh, quite a lot of artifacts actually uh, and including our first major one called uh, the Sun which ends up being a very mainstay uh, artifact now this one is I flashed it there for a moment there uh, 23 I don't know what you want to call it radiations per second I don't know it's it's on the high end uh, the the radiation that it outputs is quite high and you need, you need the uh, most upgraded um, kind of container in order to make sure it basically doesn't radiate your body while you're using it but once you do and once you uh, contain it then it will uh, offer a hefty ballistics bonus uh, or ballistic resistance bonus so <clears throat> I got to work and started building one um but i was just exactly one capacitor shy of making the best container uh so we weren't able to uh make make it unfortunately and i wasn't able to do this um episode with uh with the sun but uh you know keep watching uh this is one of my favorite things ever is like just like oh i decided i'm gonna go to i think it was the dark valley and <laughs> I spawn right in front of I think that was a controller uh it was some kind of like psi dude and then like one of my new companions he just like shoots him right in the head uh which I thought was pretty good and uh I find this like field of uh electrical whatever anomalies I don't think I found any artifacts there but we're basically like any area that I had a lot of stashes or uh quests to um accomplish uh, I'm just basically going to each zone um, perspectively and like trying to get all of that done. I've uh, zoomed in on this because keep an eye on that dragon's breath. Uh, that was it was kind of an interesting moment because I've kind of taken uh, the dragon's breath for granted, but um, uh, we'll we'll find out maybe in the next episode exactly how valuable uh, that stuff is, and it is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> so. Yeah, as I say, I'm just kind of bumming, bumming around from one uh, part of the zone to the next, um, picking up some stashes. Nothing too major, honestly, happened. Um, it was just like the the discovering a lot of artifacts, which was quite kind of fun. And I mean, it might have been nice to capture that live, and it was like a very nice surprise from my end. But like all things being said, nothing really uh, significant happened. And I this was a very, like a lot longer of a session than i usually do for my recordings like two hours um so i i actually think that debatably i uh, i should have done this whole series like this because you know definitely we we kind of cover we cover a lot more interesting stuff uh in like a 15 minute time than we do in like an hour but you know like i i like to uh do some of these things live this was funny to me i don't know like uh, sorry for for more dog death content but <laughs> two dogs getting sucked up in the anomaly and then just like getting flown apart which was was a very stalker moment um <clears throat> but uh, yeah handed hand in some stuff to um that's actually not um Sidrovic. that's this is the guy at the bar and i can't i guess his name is just barkeep oh, wow very very original um and i picked up some more routes this one was i think from jupiter to zaton or something like that um no yeah right there so yeah picked up some more more routes and like a lot of the money that i was uh getting in this episode or in this session as i completed quests and 
hand you know sell stuff from the stashes i was immediately handing back over for more routes because uh there's quite a lot of routes in the north part that you need to have if you want to uh you know quote unquote finish the game um or get to chernobyl and um see the major parts of the ending so um this is an interesting part with like you know three different anomalies hanging out but no no artifact um and then we have to crawl into this like moss uh crowded warehouse and get another stash some fun stuff not a lot of mutants in this episode uh, aside from that one controller that got got bodied um it was it was kind of quiet we're getting those um those detectors the artifact detectors if you can find the 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 very basic models are uh, very nice finds because <clears throat> for a few reasons actually because there's a few people that will actually ask you for detectors so you can like a very effectively or cost effectively upgrade um the base model into something more uh you know uh in demand to put it lightly or you can just disassemble them which is what i do um, because they are made up of a lot of really good parts. This was a really uh, good good zone. I think I don't know if this is the first time I've been through here, but it was a, maybe the first time I've been through here with this upgraded uh, artifact detector. And um, I wasn't yet used to uh, like you know how I was supposed to do it, and I just uh, get like completely torched after I like walk right over the artifact. There's really not a lot of reason to go through there I, I guess it's the way technically to um yantar but uh i got torched again but i picked up i managed to pick up the artifact and survive this time and as i say if you can survive um better to um you know like not load and then uh use some supplies to to heal yourself because that is actually you getting stronger and it, like it really like stalker is the embodiment of Whatever doesn't kill you will make you stronger, and uh, uh, so I, I try not to load if I can help it. <clears throat> but yeah, this thing, going to Yantar, we need some more quests, hand in some more stuff, get some more routes. Um, and uh, I really, honestly, like this episode is just like preparation for the end game, um, which as of the recording of this narration, not of the recording of this uh, session, but um, the narration, uh, I have like officially beaten the game at this point, <clears throat> but um, there's some there's going to be some interesting developments between here and and there, um, which I I don't think are necessarily very good. <laughs> or they're interesting. They're not good developments, but we'll see what happens. Love that snork that just kind of like side jumps away. That was that was really cool. Nice nice little moment there. Um, I don't know where they went. I think they. I kill them later there's a yeah we get kind of attacked by a few snorks there's something there's something really disturbing about snorks I think they're like one of my favorite mutant designs because they're uh they're a bit more like stalker flavored uh zombies in a way like they are I don't know you could make a whole movie out of snorks you know like they're they're really interesting you could obviously make a, a movie about a lot of uh, the mutants and in stalker but i don't know snork this i think the snork um just feels so classic stalker to me i think it's one of the most um kind of like iconic mutants in a way you could make uh you could make arguments about i guess like burrs or like uh, the fractals they're kind of strange um but you know they, they've been kind of overshadowed by a uh, slender man now what, what can you do um, I guess I should have picked up that C4. I'm not sure why I didn't. I, I guess maybe I was running into, uh, encumbrance problems, but the, the, it was, you know, the C4 is worth quite a lot if you sell it. I, I found out, um, after recording this session that, uh, explosives are really valuable. Um, they can be very good in combat, although I think that most of the situations in the game where you, uh, are most likely to get use out of grenades you can probably just pick them up off of body so uh no need to like hoard them they're very good for selling and so they will definitely make you know close the gap on whatever you're trying to save up for this was an interesting area there's like a ton of electrical uh anomalies so i was like trying to like figure out transmutation and i never do figure out transmutation i don't even know what it means 
Like, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and I, I am not sure what I'm supposed to do with it. How, like, how am I supposed to make sense of it? So, I, I, I don't know. Um, and I can't really find too much, like, resource online or, or uh, documentation about it. So, eh, it is what it is. Uh, this, <laughs> this area was kind of fun. Um, I think I had to, like, do this one a couple of times, but there's a, another stash in here. But there's, like, this is, whole zone is, like filled to the brim with like awful awful anomalies and then i'm pretty sure i got attacked by bandits in yeah like as soon as i uh get to the top of this ladder here we get like completely sieged by uh by bandits <clears throat> and i i almost die a couple of times here like it was it was pretty rough um but uh again i i i like try really hard not to load like even when it's really tempting like oh this sucks i could have probably kill these guys very easily without um you know ch you know trying too hard but so i you know i just i kill what i what i've got left and i take the take the blows and then uh, walk into an anomaly and still somehow come out the other end and uh heal ourselves up because then that's that's a bunch of experience got you know made <clears throat> it does suck though because it will wear on your uh equipment you're like your armor and stuff at this point in the game um i can make enough money that like from uh you know an, an hour that it really doesn't matter like uh, I, I at a certain point i pretty much just like resort to buying uh exosuit repair kits which is po probably the easiest way to repair um anything is like little repair kits but like it, it just doesn't matter at that point anymore so we finally, you know, I have enough capacitors. I have tons of capacitors at this point. I never make the, the best PDA, but I really didn't think it was worth it. Instead, I just like probably spend all of my capacitors on making um, artifact containers, which I think is very valuable. Um, if, if only like as you can make spares, but like if you find the right artifact, it can make the end game like a breeze. And uh, they're just a lot of fun, you know, like they're they're like little special superpowers, you know, um, do a little bit of upgrading. This is, uh, you know, since we're editing, I may as well show off a little bit of what I do between sessions. I mean, I, I talk a little bit about it, but, um, you know, I, I don't like to keep too much of it in, uh, in a session, even though I, that's a lie. I probably still end up keeping more than I should, but, you know, making medical supplies, making ammo, making, uh, repairing our stuff and, you know, just checking all the boxes and making sure that we're fully geared up and have everything we need um, for the next adventure. But anyway, that's going to do it. I um, hope you enjoyed this. This will be probably the only edited episode like this. So, um, you know, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time.